Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching. My name is Julie and today, buckle your seatbelts because you've got a lot of videos to watch. <laughs> I am doing the collab 12 Pans of Christmas and there are over 40 women on Instagram and YouTube doing this collab and I love it. I absolutely love it. I think this is the best thing I've done all year. <laughs> <laughs> on YouTube at least. I've just had so much fun. I've watched so many women's videos and I've just liked them. I've commented, you know, I have a whole host of new uh, people I am watching really use up amazing products and just hearing new reviews and everyone is so real that's doing this collab. You know, everyone is, I don't know if there's any professional YouTubers doing this collab. There might be one. I think Lisa Stevens, and if you haven't watched her, she used to work at Sephora, and she just has fantastic skincare recommendations. If you like skincare, you have to watch Lisa. She just does an amazing job with it. Um, but I think she's the only person who does YouTube as like her full-time job. But she does it because she's a mom, and so she couldn't keep working at Sephora with the crazy hours. Nevertheless, I have found so many wonderful women doing this. Here is my first update. I'm only going to be doing one update because, you know, there are 12 products and I've only had two months to do it. So this is my first month in. I've not used anything up, but man, I've gotten some good use on these things. So let's jump in. All of my products are based on movies. I have them all written here on my little cheat sheet and we're just going to dive right in. So the first movie was The Holiday and I picked a summer item thinking I'm going to go on holiday and I chose this Bare Minerals lip gloss and tangerine glisse. This is their old school ones from holiday packaging. This is where I started. This is where I am now. And you might see, yeah, you can see a little air in there. Nice. So I've only used this for about one week and I'm really excited that I've made this much progress. Now, I haven't decided if I'm going to pull the stopper on this yet because last time I pulled the stopper on one of these minis, I had about two weeks of product like hidden up here where the stopper is. So, I don't know if I'd be able to finish this by, by um, I don't know if we're going for Christmas or the first, by the way. I'm calling this a 12 pans of Christmas, so I'm going to stop it on the 25th, which is only a month away. So, I'll probably be able to use this up. I don't know about this last little bit. We'll see how time flies. <laughs> this is always the time of year where time, this time of year where time just goes so fast. Like, there's so much to do. There are all the holiday parties. There are all these events that you want to do. There are all, like, the special events, like trimming the trees and going to concerts and plays and hanging out with family and going to dinners and work events. So, that, like, time just goes really fast. The moral of that story is we'll see what happens. <laughs> I'm flying back to the States halfway between two, so I might... Whatever. We'll see. The... Next movie is The Grinch, and so many of you told me to watch it. I still have not watched it. Oh, I need to. Okay, is it on Netflix? Because I don't get cable, and I guess I can rent it from the library, but it might be in German. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, I do live in Germany. Um, I'm obviously from the United States, obviously. If you can tell from my accent, I'm from the United States, the Midwest, and uh, The Grinch. I don't know. I just haven't seen it. But if it's on Netflix or Hulu, I can watch it here, so that would be great. <laughs> but for the movie The Grinch, I chose something green. I chose the DKNY fragrance. This is their original Be Delicious fragrance, and it's green bottom. And as you can see, let's help turn it right away. Which way is it? There it goes. Okay. I have made lines. So I started up at the top there. And now, okay. Do you see a line here and here? That's where I tied it. So. I started here and now I'm down there. I wanted to be at the bottom of this sticker, which I'm not thinking might be a bit adventurous because I do have other fragrances in another one of my project pans. But if I can get like halfway through the sticker, this bottom sticker here, I'd be very pleased with that. Halfway of halfway, so a fourth. Yeah, if I can get a fourth of the way down that sticker, I'd be happy. But I've used a good chunk of it. I must admit, it doesn't smell like I remember it. I haven't used that fragrance in like two years. And no, it's not bad. I keep most of my fragrances in the refrigerator or here, and this room is only has sunlight when I film, so it's not as bad as it seems. <laughs> fragrances don't go bad very fast, because I either keep them in cool, dark places, I don't keep them in the bathroom, or I keep them in my refrigerator. Because I'm a crazy person when it comes to my fragrances. 
The next movie was The Santa Claus, and I wanted bright, rosy red cheeks. If you can see the blush I have on today, it is this one. This is the Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush in the shade 20 Peach Satin, and I hope if I square it off, there it is. So I started in this quadrant right here. Take away this little area that I used in the project pan. And this is all I've got left. That's it. It looks like I used about 25% of what's remaining, which I thought is really good. That's a little bit, and you can see, do you see how it's lifting off the pan there? It is definitely drying out. If I don't finish this, I'm just gonna throw it away if I can. If I can like bear to throw it away, because I've worked so hard on this this year. Um, you know when you work on a product for like eight months <laughs> and you just really want to finally use it up and you just got this little bit left and it kind of like goes bad, you just like use it anyways. That's where I'm at with this blush. So I've got a little bit left on it. Hopefully I use it up before it goes like really, really bad. There are no hairs in it anymore, so that's a good sign. <laughs> then is the movie Home Alone. I chose this peel off mask from First Aid Beauty. This is their Skin Rescue Purifying Mask with Red Clay. And I've probably used this three or four times. I was at this top line, I am now there. And it has a nice flex to it. I think there's an air bubble in here, to be completely honest with you. It just doesn't feel like as heavy as it should. So it might actually be lower than this mark, but we shall see. We shall see. I don't, like when I squeeze it, this is the mark where things start coming out the bottom, so it is what it is. We'll see. And then I've got the Christmas Carol. So I chose this product because it was a gift from somebody in a past Christmas. And this is the Bite Lip Pencil in the shade Pomegranate. You can see I made a lovely mark here in <laughs> nail polish. Um, and imagine I'm right at the bottom of that nail polish. I am now right there. It's what I've got on my lips today. And it's beautiful. It's a beautiful mid-tone blue-based red. It, there's no orange in it. There's no berry in it. It really is just a red. The only issue I have with this is the cap gets super dirty. Can you see how dirty it makes the tube? Which I hate. This is all I've got left. I'm hoping to finish it up. This is a lot of red lipstick to use up in one month. But we'll see what ends up happening. Um, yeah, we'll see what ends up happening, you know. This is a use it up that really has very few rules in terms of the collaboration, so it's really nice. So if I just make good progress on these products, you'll probably see them in 2018 again. <laughs> My next movie is The Polar Express, and I wanted to choose something white with snow, so I ended up choosing this travel size Smashbox Full Exposure Palette. I chose this little white shade right here. And I told you before that I had broken it by accident. But look, you don't see where I broke it anymore. Like that's how much I've used this. I use this to set my eyeshadow primer. And it's just beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I know some people hate the Smashbox shadows. And I will say this does have a lot of kick up when you put your brush in there. But it just does a nice job of keeping everything super neutral on my eyes. So I really, really enjoy that one. I haven't hit pan yet, but I know it's coming really soon. Um, I see I see a nice dip in there. You probably wouldn't be able to see it in the video. My camera doesn't do a good job of picking that stuff up, but just know it's coming along. Then I have the movie Elf. Of course I chose something from the brand Elf. This is a lip exfoliator. And someone in my last video said, oh, put it in your shower. Oh, brilliant. So brilliant. I was not using this, this lip exfoliator. This is the original one. I didn't use it. And then I put it in my shower and now it's just like part of my shower routine. I'm using it so much more. It's brilliant. Great suggestion. Thank you to whoever you are. You are brilliant. I appreciate you. <laughs> so I was at this top mark. I don't know if you can see it. And now I'm at the shimmery black mark down at the bottom there. So I've used a good amount. Well, that's not gonna help. The, the thing is off. One's in front of the other, there we go. So I'm right there. And now that it's in my shower and I see myself using it more often, this will hopefully be gone by the end of the year. That's the goal, right? So thank you, Elf, 
for being a holiday movie so I can use an elf product. <laughs> then I have the Muppets Christmas. And boy did I forget about this product. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Catrice Eyebrow Filler Perfecting and Shaping Gel. I do have it in my brows today with a pencil. I forgot about this because I used up the clear brow gel. And that just took priority over this one in my mind, even though that clear brow gel, I don't even know if it's in a project. It might be. But it's not in a project like this one where I, like, I'm really trying to finish things. But I just never reached for this. I used this one time. I still have two months worth of product left in here, so there's no way I'm going to finish this one, unfortunately. Unless, like, I grow ten more eyebrows. <laughs> but that's what the, the wand looks like. You can see it's still caked with product. Um, I do like this. The only problem is the brush is a little big. So, with it being so big, it's really hard to get precisely my brows in the right place. But the shade is really nice for me. But I'm just going to go back to my Essence one, my Make Me Brow next time just because it has a better brush. Then uh, we've got for The Nightmare Before Christmas, I chose a dark OPI shade. This is the nail polish shade. I do not know what color it is and you're not going to be able to see a difference. But let's see if I can show you my marks. How do you guys mark dark bottles? I'm interested. This is my first year doing project pans and filming in general and I'm just having a little bit of issues doing black marks on bottles and then keeping my sharpie marks on the bottles themselves like because if I throw lipstick in my purse the marks come off and then it's all over my purse like some sharpie dust I don't know can you see you can't see the sharpie marks okay well no I use this twice and I probably have two times left to use it I am there that's my mark that's where I was this is where I am. You can kind of see it a little bit. It helps if I turn it this way. There to there. I use it twice. I got two more. It's getting hard to use, which is always my sign that I'm getting to the bottom. The brush isn't quite dipping all the way into the polish, so I have to use half a nail, dip in, half a nail, dip in, half. So I'm using the product that comes out. I'm actually thinking eventually once probably the second time I paint my nails doing this method, I'm just going to dump the bottle out on a, like a napkin or a plate and just paint my nails that way because it's getting a bit tricky. Then I have a white Christmas. Ah, uh, this is my Christmas movie. Everyone has their Christmas movie. White Christmas is mine. My sisters and I, we sing along with it. You know, sisters, sisters, there were never such devoted sisters. So I chose a product that I knew I was going to love and be obsessed with, and it's very true. This is the Kat Von D Thunderstruck. You can kind of see I have it as my highlight today. It's down the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my forehead. It is just gorgeous. Gorgeous, and I wanted to hit pan on this. Um, it was almost brand new when I started, and are you going to be able to see the dip? Let's see if I can get you really close. Yeah? Uh, don't focus on my face. There. Do you see? I'm just digging a nice little hole in the center. It's not halfway down yet unless the pan in this is really shallow, which I'm hoping it's not because this was like 25 bucks. <laughs> but oh, there you go. There's, there's the dip. So I've been using this. I've been loving it. Um, I'm definitely going to keep using this. And I hope I hit pan on it. I've really been trying to focus my brush. So that's, that's my, my key to doing it for using highlight. Then I was silly, I put in yet a third white eyeshadow. Um, this one is crumbling. This is the ColourPop in the shade XO. This is one of their Super Shock shadows. Can you see that it just fell down? Yep. So when I unscrewed this and I put on the back of my hand, I was like, oh, it's still creamy. And then I started using it every day and it's super crumbly, which is why that little bit has just fallen out. And I'm really sad because it's such a beautiful shade. But I just wanted to use the middle of it. What fell out is pretty much the middle of it. I'm going to continue using this, but I think it's time for me to throw it out. I can still, I mean, I put it on my lid today, so I might still, maybe I can repress it. Can you repress colored pop shadows? What would happen if I put alcohol on this? I don't know. If you know, let me know. I'd be interested. In finding out some information about that. And then I've got the ColourPop No. <laughs> then the next movie is a Christmas story. 
Oh my god, you guys. I haven't filmed in a week because my parents were here for Thanksgiving and now I can't seem to film correctly at all. I've tried filming this video like three times and I keep messing up, but this time I'm just gonna power through. We're gonna like keep the mistakes where they are and we're just gonna accept the fact that we're all human. I make mistakes, you make mistakes. My mistakes in this video just filmed <laughs> and recorded for everyone to see. Um, feel free to make fun of me in comments. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the next movie is a Christmas story. Um, I am from Cleveland, Ohio. As I said, I'm from the Midwest. A Christmas story was filmed in Cleveland, Ohio. The tagline of the movie is, you'll shoot your eye out. So I wanted to use something that was sharp and pokey around my eye. <laughs> I chose the Ico London Skinny Liquid Eyeliner. This stuff is great. I'm not gonna lie. It's really good. This is just a sample size. I have it lining my eyes today. That's what's creating this wing. It is really black. It is almost matte. The mistakes are my own. I got a little happy on this side and made it a little thick. But listen, again, today filming. <laughs> Um, I'm just having a good time with it. And I hope you are too. I hope that you're just laughing along with my ridiculousness. <laughs> this is super black. I love it. I think it's great. I you know, used it two, three times. You can't tell how empty it is, but hopefully by the end of this year, it'll be gone. Um, it's just really hard to tell. I've had it for a pretty long time. It's been over about six months. But it's still really black and I've not had any issues using it, so I know it's not near empty, but hopefully it will be soon. <laughs> um, and then my last one is the movie Love Actually. This is such a feel-good, warm movie. I love it. Jude Law is in it. I find him very attractive. <laughs> and I know he's not everyone's cup of tea, uh, but he's my cup of tea. <laughs> So I chose something that was just so Christmassy to me. This is the Butter Shop Body Butter in, is it Sparkling Cranberry? What is this? Frosted Cranberry, excuse me. But this is what the packaging looks like. This is just a travel size. And I'd already hit pan on it, but look at that extended pan. This smells so good. I use it all over my body. I use it on my hands, I use it on my feet, I use it on my legs after I shave. And it just smells so good. If you like the scent of cranberries, at least. I grew up on cranberries. Um, my mom is from the East Coast, and cranberries are really big on the East Coast. They have cranberry bogs. So I just, I think this is great. I'm really excited that I'm using it again. This is getting me into the spirit of things. I'm just going to smell this one more time. <laughs> I did this in my first video, too. I just smelled this for like five minutes. Yeah, it just smells really good. And I just want to use it up because there's no need to keep that little bit in 2018. And it was a holiday scent, which is why I didn't use it during the summer. So, there you go. There are my 12 pans of Christmas. Please check out all the other ladies. I'm going to have a link down below of a full playlist of their videos. If you have some time, it's really worth watching because you meet so many new people here on YouTube. Thank you for watching my video. I really do appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.